ربي يشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ويجعل لي بزين من اهلي. Another amazing video on the linguistic miracle of the Quran, especially for those who love literature. But for anybody who, who knows how to read and write, look at this beautiful piece of literature. Four verses, almost the same, but their difference gives away the divinity of the Quran. Look at this. This is Surah Baqarah, verse 281. Which I'm going to show you some similar sentences, but look at the difference that shows us the signs of God in the Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim. It says, ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسِ مَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ then every soul will, will be compensated for what it earned and they will not be wrong this word earned for what it earned and it they will not be wrong kasabat kasabat remember this surah ali imran almost the exact same words summa tuwaffa kullu nafsin ma kasabat wa hum la yudhlamun on that day they will every soul will be fully compensated for what it earned and they will not be wrong again the kasabat the word same kasabat is used in surah nahl verse 111 وَتُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِّلَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ And each will be paid in full for what it did and none will be wrong. Here it says عَمِلَتْ For what it did, not earned but did. عَمِلَتْ And then finally Surah Zumar verse 70 it says Every soul وَوُفِّيَتْ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِلَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يَفْعَلُونَ And then every soul will be paid for, full, for its deed, for what it did and Allah knows best what they have done again here amilat what they did so simple the all all of the, these verses are talking about the same thing compensating a soul for what it did or earned but again the beautiful question that shows the divinity of the quran here it says for what it earned ma kasabat here it says again for what it earned ma kasabat what it earned but in surah nahl it says for what it did and surah zamar it says what it did for its deeds, for it did. So the question is, why in the first two verses, in Surah Baqarah, Surah Ali Imran, it, it was saying earned, and in the next two verses, what it did. Although both, all of them are being compensated. Why? Why just randomly throw them out? Now let's see the beauty of the Quran, the context, the beautiful placement of these words in the right context. Let's see. Surah Baqarah, verse 281, what's the context? Okay, so now let's see the context of these verses. It's where the, all the magic lies. This is verse, Surah Baqarah, verse 281 saying whatever you'll be compensated for what you earned see the previous verses start from verse 279 what does it say uh, 278 oh you have believed fear Allah and give up what remains due to interest riba you're making money through interest and if you don't do then be informed of a war against Allah and his messenger so the context is that of riba interest how do you make interest you don't do anything hard work labor no it's no amal it's kasab you just earn money without hard work subhanallah so it was rightfully said earned you earn without any hard work in surah al imran the same thing uh, if you go to the previous verse of from verse once uh, rather in the same verse you see the same verse it says it is not attributable to any prophet that he would act unfaithfully in regard to war booty and whoever betrays taking unlawfully will come with what he took on the day of judgment then every soul will be fully compensated for what it earned subhanallah now you're taking something from war booty first of all the extra things you earn in war is not you because you worked hard to earn it it was an extra firstly and secondly you're taking it unlawfully so again you're not really working for it you're just trying to steal it subhanallah so no hard work just earning still earning without hard working so both of them were right subhanallah but however surah nahal when what it says uh, every soul will be paid for what it did now doing it requires hard work struggle right action the previous verse just look at the previous verse for the context as for those who immigrated after being compelled to re renounce islam then struggled in allah's cause and persevered subhanallah so much action F you're getting tired you're struggling subhanallah so accordingly it was more appropriate to say what you did rather than what you earned because you're doing action and striving and struggling similarly surah zumar it says every soul will be paid for what it did again it's if you go to the previous verse talking about the did the Hereafter, it says, Earth will shine with the light of its Lord, and the record of deeds will be laid open, and the prophets and witnesses will be brought forward. Subhanallah, the record of deeds will be laid open. It was appropriate to say, everyone will be paid for its deed instead of earning. Subhanallah, everything in its right context. And also, notice that here, earning uh, is something you've already gained. You've earned it, right? Here, when you were taking interest, you already earned it in this dunya. When you were taking the war booty, you stole it and you earned it. However, with the did, deed you de uh, did, the results you'll see in the hereafter, right? For what you did, 
the good deeds you did the results will be seen in their hair after you haven't necessarily you haven't necessarily earned it right now or in surah zumar you haven't necessarily earned it subhanallah you see it wasn't just randomly saying every soul will be compensated for what it earned for what it earned for what it did for what it did no it is a, it had a purpose behind it subhanallah that's what i'm trying to show you all and inshallah if allah uh wills i will continue to keep showing you till those uh, whom allah has given uh, allah will give this capability and allah will allow them to accept the truth i will keep showing it to them inshallah until it becomes 100% clear to them that every single word in the quran was placed where it was meant to be placed it cannot be moved from its place you will be convinced 100% conviction it will turn from a faith that you inherited from your parents to a faith of conviction that everyone in the quran is purposeful we must reflect upon it because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran afla yatadabbarun al quran do they not reflect upon the quran or are there locks upon their hearts may allah give us the capability to reflect deeply and take these signs from god to in order to see the divinity of the quran so this is subhanallah i just wanted to show you this beautiful thing the same sentence is repeating again and again four times at least it says every soul will be compensated for what it earned they every soul will be compensated for what it earned every soul will be paid for what it did every soul will be paid for what it did now why say earn two times why say for what it did two times this is what blows the mind away that these are the signs that god leaves in the quran so that we can pick them up and see the divinity of the quran for itself so may allah give us this complete conviction in the quran subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik